Hi, I'm Master Adam Grogan. I'd like to welcome you here tonight as we celebrate our 5th year anniversary of the Northeast Open. The Northeast Open has been a dream come true for me. I want to tell you a little bit about the event and how it got started. Five years ago, I had a dream and an idea that I wanted to change martial arts in our local community. I'd always been a competitor growing up, competing in a lot of tournaments, and seen all the good and seen the bad, but realized that there was never any local opportunities. There was never anything out there for people in the local area to, to see things on a big level. And then it hit me one day, the idea for this Northeast Open. So I went door to door to every local martial arts school in the area, trying to open up my heart and my passion to them to make them believe in my event enough for them to all come together for the better of the event. My initial thoughts when I heard the plans for the Northeast Open were how on earth is Master Grogan going to carry this off? We started talking about putting together this, this tournament and uh, knowing Adam the way I do, I knew it was going to be very unique and, and very well done. So I kind of got to be there at the ground floor and see what was, was going to happen and, and, and support him in this endeavor because I thought it was going to turn out really great. He reached out with a sense of community, uh, describing it as an event of uh, unity in the martial arts community. Uh, and I was very attracted to that. Uh, I've been to events like this in the past and I had some fears about it. Um, all the other events that I've been to in the past were disorganized, usually uh, started very early in the morning, ran to the late hours of the night, it was multi-day. Uh, and when he told me that he was going to do this all in one day, uh, I was kind of impressed to hear that and I, uh, I thought if he pulled it off, he's really going to raise the bar for what martial art tournaments are going to be in the future. So I had the idea for the Northeast Open. But the problem with me is I'm a perfectionist. And, and knowing that I'm gonna do something, I wanna do it right and do it big, I, I can't do anything small. I have to go all out. It's the only way I know how to be. Well, what made me decide to get involved was I saw potential in the event. Uh, Master Grogan's energy uh, can kind of become addictive. There's, there's a passion involved in that. I mean, if you've ever, if you know, you know Master Grogan, he, he does everything top notch, everything high class. And you could tell he was so excited about it. You could tell he really had had some plans and had some 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 direction that what he wanted to do. And I just knew, without a doubt, that this was going to be a success. I knew it was going to be a great event, and I knew it was going to bring a lot of people together. Knowing him and his personality, I knew that his putting on a, any kind of an event would be a good event, and I wanted to be a part of it. So I went out there and I decided I'm going to do this, and I'm going to make it the biggest, best thing that anybody's ever seen that shares my passion for martial arts. I first heard about the, the Northeast Open when I actually met Master uh, Adam Grogan up at the Saratoga Martial Art Festival. And he was walking around talking about the upcoming Northeast Open and his sincerity and the fact that he showed up on his own and talked to people about it uh, intrigued me. First thing I thought was it would be a great opportunity to introduce competition to my school. Remember, my school is pretty new, so I thought it would be a great way to introduce it and it turned out to be fantastic. I was excited actually to have a local competition. You know, I always get these mailings about competitions in Massachusetts and New Jersey, uh, but nobody up at, at to that point had uh, put together a local competition that all the schools could come and participate in. It was such a you know, fantastic idea, the vision, uh, not just a martial arts tournament, but a martial arts tournament that was um, free from the usual ego, you know, a tournament that stressed family values and the real spirit of the martial arts. And that was um, very important to me. Uh, it's a huge part of the tournament, even today, five years on. What I've seen is the, the people that are coming to this tournament and participating in this event uh, are being uh, reinstated to the, to the tournament scene. They're happy, they're, they're back into it being the kind of event they always wanted it to be friendly, uh, people having a good time, uh, and not my style is better than your style kind of thing like it always used to be. I've been to many events and usually when they involve multiple styles, 
They get very disorganized and they take a long time. This event was well organized. Uh, all the families had fun. The atmosphere was incredible. The judges were professional. And the camaraderie between schools and styles uh, amazed me because usually that was something in the past that we've never seen. All martial arts are different but equal. There's not one better or worse than another. They're all just different for different people. And I wanted to bring that aspect of my philosophy into my event so that I can open up people's eyes to the beauty of all martial arts styles. You know, it's interesting, when I walked in, it was in the afternoon the first year, and just the energy in the room was, the place was hopping. You're walking in, I just felt like I walked into this martial art uh, extravaganza. It was incredible. It's uh, very, um, kind of like has that hometown feel. Everybody's very friendly. The judges are even very friendly, and everybody comes up and says hello, even if you've never met them before. My first thoughts were, how will uh, Master Grogan ever top this again? It was such an incredible event. And uh, my second thought was, how can I wait a whole year for another tournament of this quality to come round? It was sort of like going out and having a good meal. I said, you know what, I'm going back. And I wanted to call a couple of my uh, senior students who also have schools and said, uh, come on up and check this out. Um, it's time to get back into the tournament scene. It's fun. This area is so rich in martial arts. There's dozens upon dozens of martial arts schools, but there's never been an event, at least that I'm old enough to remember, that brings them all together. Based on what I've seen over the last five, six, seven years, I think the martial arts is just gonna to continue to grow and prosper in the capital region. I think that it's come miles and miles and miles from the early days. And I think that with all the talented instructors and the creativity that they have, uh, sky's the limit. I see uh, the sky's the limit. It's only going to go up from here. I think it's going to keep growing and I think it's going to uh, keep expanding. I see the future of the Northeast Open having a positive impact on the local martial arts community. Uh, it helps build camaraderie. It's truly become a network where all my students have made friends. Well, I would like to think that we could grow, and I say we because I consider it a very, uh, I consider it the region's tournament, Master Grogan organizes of course, but uh, um, it's really the region's tournament. I would love to see more schools involved. I would love to see it growing even beyond where it is now. Um, I would like to see us continue to stress the real spirits in the martial arts, the camaraderie. It's not just about the competition, it's about making friends, it's about competing, it's about doing your very, very best. We're all supposed to be there together. This is supposed to be one, one big universal event. And I think as it continues to grow and as we get more and more people involved with this type of event, you're just going to see much more of a supportive environment, a brotherhood, and, and really what the martial arts is all about. I mean, there's no one right answer. There's no this style is better than that style. And I think what you're seeing is a lot of schools that, that may have at one point or another been competitive with each other are starting to work together and, and, and starting to be all part of the same, the same, the same event. Um, it is a martial art, and art means to continue to improve. We're doing it. I can't say it's been easy. I have a bad habit of always having to outdo myself. I have competition with myself all the time. So every year that goes on, I need to make the event bigger and better in, in different ways. But I, I need to bring something new, something better every time. I really can't wait to see just what Master Grogan has come up with for this year. Because there are always surprises. Uh, he's always going over the edge in some cases to pull off some things. It, uh, it, it was a fantastic idea and um, it's one of the best organized tournaments I've ever been to. That day of that event, when I see everybody out there having fun and people walking in and sharing in their passion of the martial arts, something that's so very important to me, then it's all worthwhile. So once again, for those that didn't know me, my name is Master Adam Grogan. I'm the event director. I've been working on this for about eight months now. And for all the hard work I've put in, I want to thank everybody here. You truly made it a success. And hopefully this will continue year after year, continue to grow. It's something that we can look forward to here in the capital region and the whole Northeast.